I am with David LeBron and he is the owner at Double Shop in Latimer and Ocean Springs. So David, um, we are here in the wine section. Tell us about this and all of the other selections that you guys have here and the difference between red and white. Okay, well, Jerrica, you understand you like red wines? Yes, whenever I go to dinner, I'll usually have a glass of red wine. That's usually whenever I do um, consume either red or white. Um, but what would you prefer? Well, I usually try to pair up the wine with the food. You know, before I opened up this liquor store, I was mostly a beer drinker. And then uh, getting into the wine and liquor business, I really developed a fondness for pairing wine with food. So, you know, there's that old uh, adage, uh, red meat's gonna go with red wine, white meat's gonna go with white wine. But, you know, that's kind of passe anymore. You really just need to let your palate dictate what it is that you want. Okay. Um, one thing that you want to avoid as a new wine drinker, which I don't think you are at that pace yet, but, or uh, I think you've passed that pace, you don't want to get uh, overwhelm the palate by giving them a red wine that has too high an alcohol content. Some people might refer to that as red or as a dry wine, but really it's what we would call full bodied. Okay, so if I was a new customer um, walking into your store today, what would you recommend me um, with dinner? If, you're, if I'm having a friend over and we're cooking, we're having fish, what would you suggest the brand be for that? Uh, that's a good question. We actually do have a pathway for people that are just learning how to drink wine for certain wines to start with. We have a red uh, uh, Gallo Zinfandel is one that we recommend starting off with. It's one that can be chilled appropriately and you can pair it with just about anything. Um, okay. On the white wine side, uh, Chardonnay obviously is the most popular, but the Pinot Grigio is actually the lightest flavored. So somebody who's starting off drinking white wine, uh, maybe with some cheese, Pinot Grigio, then uh, Sauvignon Blanc would be next, uh, Chardonnays after that. And to follow that profile too, once you get into the reds, cross over into the reds, you have a Pinot Noir, which is a more sophisticated flavor, but still lighter than the Merlots. And then the Cabernets tend to be the more robust, fuller flavor. That's something that you would generally pair with a full flavored meal like a roast or a steak or you know, if you're having barbecue, Shiraz is a really good red wine to have. Okay, so speaking of cheese boards um, with wine, would you suggest red or white? I would suggest whatever you want. Whatever honestly. the preference is. Yeah, people that are just learning how to drink wines, uh, uh, that Pinot Grigio would probably be the great place to start. But even in one setting, if you're going to transition from lighter cheeses to pair with those Pinot, the Pinot Grigio, and then you want to go into a, a heavier cheese, uh, then start with the white. Okay. Then go to the red. What is your best seller wine here at Double Shop? Uh, you know, it's really hard to say because one of the things that we have, we don't have the largest selection. Okay. But we do have an expertly selected selection. So what we've actually engaged experts in the wine field to come in and pick out certain selections of the different varietals, the Cabernet, Merlot, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, etc., so that the palate is covered. So you have more so the best selection here and a variety of different things that you cover. Well said. <laughs> okay, well let's take a look at your liquor section. So what do you guys have here? Uh, well, we have a large selection of rums. We'll start with the rums at the end, tequilas, uh, and certainly a lot of people that drink tequilas for margaritas <laughs> like to have the margaritas one thing that I would definitely recommend when you're choosing a tequila look for something that is 100 percent de agave so this tequila it's around seventeen dollars a bottle it's perfect for making with margaritas it's hundred percent uh, blue agave. Now what is the difference between a more expensive tequila and a less expensive tequila? Does it make a difference taste-wise? Does it make a difference um, stronger alcohol content? Or how does that work? That's a good question. So where it's really going to make a difference on the taste is depending on how educated the palate is. 
the bigger picture though is mm -hmm. how do you want to feel the next day <laughs> that was my next question so for example if you have margaritas with your girlfriends or you're going out to a Mexican restaurant and then you come home and you want to continue having margaritas um, what would be your best pick for that once you start getting to that point what a lot of people don't realize is that that negative feeling that you get the next day you possibly drank a little too much it comes from taking in too much sugar largely that's what drives that so and that's also not with the alcohol that's with the mix exactly. that comes with it you're exactly right so they make uh, uh, low sugar mixers I would recommend after dinner if you're gonna go there continue to drink then just get a, a mixer that has a low, low okay. sugar content. Okay, and um, tell me a little bit about what you guys have here. Um, I know champagne's huge for special events, bridal showers, bachelorette parties, mm -hmm. birthdays, baby showers. Um, what would be your best seller champagne when it comes to a big party when you have more than like 20 people? So for example, if you have 20 plus, what would be the best champagne to purchase in bulk? Well, it, that largely depends on budget, but we do have uh, wines, liquors, uh, and champagnes to fit all budgets. And generally, a mid-range like this Corbel is $13 a bottle. And another thing too, when people are planning big parties like that, they contact us ahead of time, then we can accommodate them with discounts on volume. Say you wanted to buy a case of this. Say for example, uh, you're having a baby shower and mm -hmm. you're going to have 30 people show up. Which my friend Kaylee is having a baby shower very soon, so that's why I asked this question. <laughs> wow, okay. So this actually comes in a 15 bottle case, which okay. would be perfect for that number of people. Perfect. Okay, now what about if you have more of a personal gathering with a group of friends or just in general like one or two people, what would be the best seller champagne that you would recommend for them? If you're going to go with a smaller crowd, um, we have an excellent price on the Moet and Chandon. Okay. Now, one of the things that's kind of strange about champagnes is <laughs> that it can't be legally called a champagne. Okay. Unless it's made from grapes that are grown in the Champagne region of France. So, certainly this is a premier champagne globally. This is probably the most popular champagne in the world. Corbel, made from the same method, a uh, similar uh, type of grape. Mm -hmm. The only difference is that these grapes were grown in California. These grapes were grown in the Champagne region of France. Wow, that's really good to know. For, exa for example, if someone come in here, um, how is the customer service? Does people come in here and actually like help people find what they need or what they're looking for? For example, if they didn't know this was a California brand versus the Moet, which was not, um, would someone walk around and help them out? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's... Uh, Customer service is number one. Well, speaking of females, we've been talking a lot about bridal showers and birthdays. What about the males? What would you recommend for guys? At the baby shower? Yes. Let's go to the beer section. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. So good call. Of, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely good, good, good call. So, okay. um, one of the things that I can tell you we have here too is the largest selection of craft beer in the state of Mississippi. Say that again. The largest selection of craft beer in the state of Mississippi. Oh wow, okay, so what would you recommend um, for having, like we said earlier, with the champagne for a larger group? Depending on preference or does that matter? Craft beer is starting to really get a much larger share of the market. Um, we absolutely have the largest selection of craft beer in the state. We have some beers that you can't get any place else. It's through a lot of effort and collaboration with all I see that because there's partners. a bunch of different brands here that I'm looking at that I have not seen at other liquor stores. Um, so can you explain a little bit about that to us? Absolutely. If we don't have it, it's because the distributor has run out. Um, on the lighter side, you have a lager which is typically the, what the American palate drinks. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Budweiser is a lager. Um, when you start stepping it up into an ale, it's gonna have a, a more full flavor. And again, Jerrica, a lot of this is dependent on the alcohol content. Okay. Some people actually come in looking for the largest uh, alcohol. alcohol content, mm -hmm. but some people just like the flavor. So not all people, you know, want to come in and get their case of beer after work or whatever their preference is or whatever their reason is for. 
Um, but some people just like to have a beer with dinner. So, or what would you recommend that a beer would go with? Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> so beer and pizza. Um, what is your preference on your favorite beer? Do you okay. drink beer? Uh, oh yeah. I become well versed in all the wines, liquors, beers. And I have a, a preference, for, but it, it depends on what I'm eating. So, you know, that's an excellent question, too. If I'm having something lighter, then I'm going to have a beer that's a little lighter. And it'll probably have uh, a lower alcohol content. If I'm having something big, like if I'm looking forward to a steak and I know that I want to have beer with it, I might go with something that has an alcohol content of 10%, which is the highest that we're able to have in Mississippi right now. Well, I know we're specializing right now on the male um, aspect of the birthday parties or whatever the event is, but a lot of females actually drink beer, which you would not like think that, but they do. Oh, yeah. um, so I know a lot of people that actually drink beer that are girls. So um, for a female, what would you prefer? Uh, you know, it's I, it's hard to say because that stereotype of the the woman that only drinks the lighter beer or uh, a, a flavored beer mm -hmm. uh, is kind of going away. There, I'm finding just as many women like the bigger stout beers as uh, as not. So, and one of the things we have here too, in addition to having the largest selection of beer in the state of Mississippi, you can come in and make your own six pack. So even if, uh, uh, say, you want to try a pale ale or you want to try uh, a stout or a porter beer, you, you don't have to buy the whole six pack. You don't even have to buy a six pack. You can just buy each individual beer. So what about beginners? Um, if you have never had alcohol in your entire life and you just turned 21, um, what would you recommend them try? Would it be alcohol? Would it be, well, obviously alcohol, but would it be beer? Would it be liquor? Would it be wine? Would it be champagne? What would you recommend? You know, that's such a personal preference. It's really hard to say. But one of the things that we have here is in one stop, we can accommodate whatever that preference is, whether it be wine, Champagne, beer, liquor, anything. We have it here at Double So this shop. is a one-stop shop for all of your alcohol or anything that you need for a special event, a party like we said earlier. Absolutely. And it can fit for the whole family, whether it's female or male. Absolutely. Okay, well is there anything else that you want to get out there about Double Shop that we have um, not hit on here in the store? We definitely hit on the alcohol uh, that is available here, the alcohol drinks, but did you know that we also have uh, a large selection of smoking accessories. I did not know that. I have. I did not know that. So tell know, me a little bit about that. Do you know anybody who wants to stop smoking cigarettes? I know a few people that I could get to stop smoking cigarettes. Um, sometimes it's hard, especially if they've been smoking for a really long time. Um, but do you have another version or another way? We have a very large selection of electronic cigarettes. Okay. And we also have expert, uh, experts on staff to direct you on what to buy, how to buy it, and one of the things that I like, I really started getting into the electronic cigarettes, is that you can get the juices that have a nicotine content that you can titrate down, meaning that you might start with the same nicotine level that you have in whatever cigarette you're using at the time, and then gradually decrease that nicotine level. Well, that's amazing. Can we actually look at some of this? Uh, so, if I was coming in here and I was new, mm -hmm. and I smoked, which I do not, <laughs> but if I if I was a customer who come in and smoked, what would you recommend me pick? Is there certain levels of the nicotine? Like, is there certain brands that you guys carry? Um, how would you direct me to help me with that? I think we would figure out what cigarette you're smoking it currently. Mm -hmm determine what the nicotine content is, mm -hmm. and then we can pick out a juice. And one of the things about the juices is the flavors, eventually, you know, as you titrate down, the flavor starts to dominate the senses. So the idea is that you don't miss the nicotine as much. So you don't get all of the nicotine, but you don't miss it as much because there's a little bit connected with the electronic cigarette. Absolutely. It's the nicotine part that is causing the addiction. Absolutely. So once you get past that, 
it's easier to let that habit go. Okay, well that's just really good to know um, because I will definitely direct all of my friends and people that I know here um, to come and check it out and see what you guys have to offer because you have so much. Um, we just come out of one building and now we're in another, so you're so big, um, you have a lot to offer. Thanks, yes. <laughs> um, we also have a large selection of hookahs and other smoking accessories for whatever product you want to use. My friend Bree actually was eyeing that pink hookah <laughs> or pipe over there. <laughs> so she was, yeah, she loved the pink aspect of that. But um, I see you have all different colors, all different sizes, and all different shapes here. So um, I guess it's just depending on preference Absolutely. and what you like. You know, it would be so much easier if everybody liked the same thing, but that's just not the way it is. And we definitely don't, we encourage individuality, of course. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to make you aware of too, uh, we have a large selection of herbal products. Okay. Uh, CBD has been shown to treat cancer. Heal a lot, I've heard. There's, that's not an overstatement. I've done a lot of research myself. I'm a registered nurse, among other things. And I can tell you that I've I gone- I didn't know that. There's uh, the online repository for the National Institute of Health is pubmed.org. There's peer-reviewed research on there that demonstrates that CBD has been used to cure cancer. Wow. Now, a lot of people use it for other reasons. They use it to uh, And it's just a herb, correct? Well, CBD is actually a component okay. of the cannabis plant, Okay. but it's been deemed to uh, it's accessible now. It's not. It doesn't have the intoxicating effects. Like I was uh, interacting with a customer yesterday, and they wanted to know, well, if I take this, is it going to make me feel uh, high? Anything like that? It doesn't no. have the. It's the THC component that makes people experience that kind of euphoria. That's this not, just has the effect that can help you and prevent things. CBD is actually the an acronym for cannabidiol, which is the component that comes from that plant that has these positive effects. effects. Okay, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> I mean, your store is just so, you have so much to offer here, whether it's if you wanted to go out for a night out with your friends, a party, you can come in and actually get cured right here in this section. <laughs> um, so one other thing I want to show you before, <clears throat> this herbal section, Generically, I'll just let you, suffice to say that in the years that we've had this, I have literally met dozens of people that credit this herbal section with saving their lives. Wow. So what kind of brands do you guys carry? Because I see you have a, a lot. Um, what would you recommend um, for just like a regular everyday type um, herb? Like what would you recommend for that? If I wanted to come in and I'm like, you know, I really want to try something, I don't, I don't know what to try, um, how would you help me and guide me to this specific product? Well, <clears throat> a lot of people have chronic pain issues. Uh, this is a non-pharmaceutical alternative to help people deal with chronic pain. Uh, anxiety is something that people take these type of products for. Uh, that is something that I actually have. People don't really realize that because I, I, never that. I have my own television show and I'm very personal and sociable, but yeah, I do. I have a little anxiety. Um, so, and then, yeah, so that would be something that I would have to look into. I'll be glad to talk to you about that. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that one would be which one? Uh, well, this whole section here, different ones are going to have those types of effects. So, uh, getting more specific if you're saying that specifically you would like something to help deal with anxiety um, Bali is something that a lot of users report as getting having a lot of success in relieving that type of uh, yeah so now as a nurse how does that tie in? Is that why you carry this in your store here? Um, did you kind of pull in the um, healthy, being positive, trying to make a difference into the shop? Or what brought you to carry all these different products? Because you don't see this a lot at different places. This is very unique, so that's why I asked. That's a great question. Actually, the reason I brought this in is because I was doing some cross-marketing with a local celebrity. 
and they suggested that I bring these products in. Um, I've come to learn a lot about them. Now, this particular uh, product, I know there's a lot of controversy because it has a huge impact on helping people deal with certain things like opiate addiction. Uh, physiologically, these botanicals are related to the coffee plant. Mm -hmm. They have nothing to do with the opium plant. And what happens when we take them in, we have receptors in our bodies. The opiate receptors are what gets triggered when somebody takes a narcotic, a pain pill. Mm -hmm. It's been prescribed by their physician. Mm -hmm. These have the ability to bind with those same receptors, but they don't have the same effect. Opiates cause a depressive effect. They cause respiratory depression. These do not. When you take too much of these, it's going to make you throw up. Oh no. <laughs> well, definitely, hopefully, people, that's what I was going to, my next question for you was going to be how many can you sell at a time? Do you have to be a certain age limit? Um, is there an 18, or does it matter because it's not like alcohol where you have to be a certain age depending on what state you're living in? Um, how does that work for this? We, we enforce that you have to be 21. To 21, buy, okay. To buy cranium. So, um, outside of that, you know, and it's rare, but if some people are particularly sensitive to it, it may cause them to feel nauseated. Uh, but as I say, over the years, I've, this, this particular product, more than any other, I've met people that credit it. It's made a difference. Them, through tears, people have told me this story. Many, many Just times. don't take too many. <laughs> That's the only thing that you need to make sure, I guess, people hit on. Um, but I think other than that, this sounds fantastic. So people out there definitely should come check them out right here in Double Shop in Latimer because this is amazing, if, especially if it can be positive and cure somebody. Well, I, I don't think it's a silver bullet, Jerrica, but if somebody does have that problem or it, and it it's, could ease it's become the pain. so prevalent, I would be willing to bet that you know somebody who has that problem that you don't even know has that problem. You know what I mean? Like you didn't know I had anxiety. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So. Well, um, is there anything else that you would like to show me here um, and like to talk about while we're here in the shop? I think you've done a great job showcasing <laughs> what we have here. Of course, here, helping absolutely. Helping your audience. Uh, I think uh, I appreciate you coming by. Of course, and thank you so much. And um, I'll definitely let all of my friends and family and everybody know about this spot um, right here in Ocean.